am Allison Bushy, and this is my second year engineering class here at the ACE Center at Highland Springs with the High Tech Academy. And we are going to do a lesson today on Rube Goldberg machines. And we're going to talk about making a Rube Goldberg machine, and then we're gonna talk about the simple machines that make up a Rube Goldberg machine. I also have my co-teacher here, Ms. Dolmage, who um, is also part of the High Tech Academy program. Did you wanna say anything? Well, Allison has been a professional civil engineer for many years and is now in uh, the field of education, and she's been awesome here. Uh, I teach dual enrollment pre-calculus and calculus to our students, so Allison's going to take the lead on this lesson today. Since this is an engineering lesson. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's talk a little bit about Rube Goldberg. We talked about Rube Goldberg last class. So we remember Rube Goldberg is an engineer who became a cartoonist, and what he is most well known for is his crazy machines that are overly complicated and they are designed to do a very simple task. So it may take six actions to do something simple like wipe a napkin on your mouth. So you guys all worked last class on the engineering design process, steps one through four, which was your um, brainstorming, your researching, um, and coming up with your design. And so today what you're gonna do is build your design but I want to go through the simple machines one more time. We've talked about simple machines before, but I want to remind you what the simple machines are because you're required to use simple machines in your Rube Goldberg machine. So what is a simple machine? A simple machine is something with few or no moving parts, and its purpose is to let you do more, use less force over a greater distance. So work equals force times distance, right? So if we are going to do less force, we need a greater distance. And that's what the simple machines do for us. So the first simple machine I'm gonna talk about is the inclined plane. So this is an inclined plane. You think of it as maybe like a ramp outside. So it increases the distance so that you can get up the same amount vertically, but you take longer going over it horizontally. So this is an inclined plane. The next one I'm gonna talk about is a screw. And a screw is actually an inclined plane wrapped around a cylinder, right? So you think of a spiral staircase, not just a screw, anything that kind of goes, it's gonna go something that is in a rotational motion that then takes it into a linear motion. That's how it translates the distance. Um, I also have a wedge here. This is an example of a wedge. This is a lawn nail. Um, and a wedge is something that takes the force and transmits it in two different directions. So actually, if I take these two inclined planes and put them together, they make up a wedge. So inclined planes back to back also make up a wedge. You might think of an ax or something like that where you chop wood. Um, we also have levers. There are three classes of levers. So the one I have right here is a first class lever. You think of like a teeter-totter. So the way a lever works is the middle part, what is the middle part called? Fulcrum. Fulcrum. Awesome, you guys remembered. So a fulcrum is where the pivot point is, and in this case it's pretty much a 50-50. There's the equal distance on either side. Where you put the fulcrum determines how much, you, how much you get out of your machine. So if this is my fulcrum and this is my lever, if I put it more towards, let's say this is my, the thing I'm trying to lift over here, my load, this is my effort. I can use a lot of motion and lift a little distance, but it takes me a lot less force to be able to do that. Or I can put it closer to me and it takes me more force, but I can move a longer distance. A baseball bat is also a lever. Which class lever is a baseball bat? Third class lever, very good, some of you remembered. So a third class lever, the fulcrum is actually at the end and your effort that you use goes in the middle. So you also think of a broom. So the item that you hit with the bat goes at the end. A second class lever is like a wheelbarrow where you have the pivot point, the fulcrum at one end, and you have effort and you have the load in the middle. All right, so that is four of our simple machines. Our fifth simple machine is a wheel and axle. So it's an, a rod or an axle connected to a wheel. So you can think of things like doorknobs. So it's another one where you use rotational motion to turn, so that's where your distance goes over to make your force less. The last simple machine I have is a pulley. And a pulley is an interesting simple machine. What, what does a pulley do that's a little different than the machines I've talked about? 
it changes the direction of the force. So if I have an item down here at this end and I am pulling on this end, I am pulling downwards and the force is pulling upwards. So it can change the direction. But the real magic of pulleys is when you put many pulleys together, they actually can make the force even less. So you will have more rope, more distance between the pulleys, but the force you will have to use is even less. There was an old um, saying where um, someone said that they could move an entire, like sh a huge ship just by using a system of pulleys. If they got enough pulleys together, one person could actually move a giant ship. So that's the, one, a simple pulley just changes the direction, but many pulleys also helps you change the amount of force. All right, so we've gone through all of the simple machines. Do you guys have any questions? So you know your task is to make your own Rube Goldberg machines. So um, I'm gonna let you guys work on your projects. There are materials in the back of the room. If you need any other materials that you think we might have, please ask. All right, go ahead and get in your groups. Oh, you've got the train game. My mom loves that game. Yeah. Um, all right, so you're going to use, where's your plan? Our plan is, yeah. Oh, that's yours. Okay. So you've got two cars. Mm -hmm. We're You've got some balloons. You've got some straws. And you've got some bracelets. You guys have a, quite a variety of, of things. So what are what is your... So, the order that wheel. you're going. Yeah. Um, I see that. You've got like a wheel and axle. You've got, you can have your levers here. You've got your dominoes falling. Um, oh, and you've got Play Doh. Yeah. All right. So, you're going to have to tell me how this is going to work. So, we're going to have the fan blow into the sail car thing. Okay. And then that's going to knock into. Um, What's it going to knock into? It's going to knock into the. Um, Dominoes, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to knock down okay. the dominoes, yeah. which are going to go in order. Okay. And then those are going to hit this second. The little car? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then we're going to have it like hit a marble or something, roll off the table. Okay. Hit like an inflated balloon. Okay. And then through that balloon, there's going to be a straw. And that straw is going to launch a little aluminum penny rocket thing. Okay. Yeah. So the end goal is to launch that yeah. little... And that's your that's your task, yeah. is to launch the rocket. Yeah. A little mini rocket. Which you could have just done by pressing yeah. it. But, you know, we have to make it a little bit more Rube Goldberg style. Okay. Very good. I do think we had uh, inclined planes there in, the, in there as well, using the um, foam and another marble. So here I have, this is going to kind of, it's like one of those toys that like kids play with where like a little car goes down uh -huh. and around and it kind of acts like a screw. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a screw. Yeah. It's, it's actually very, a very creative way to make a screw. I love yeah. it. So are you going to put a marble down that? Yeah, marble. Okay. All right, so you're going to put a marble down that and then what it's happens? It's going to knock over some blocks. Okay. Like dominoes, and then okay. that's gonna knock over a stack of cups, which again. Will okay. Knock this is your dominoes. your stack of cups. Your yeah, yeah. Big stack of cups. Yep. And then that'll push a car, which in the final oh. it'll like pop a balloon. Okay, that's yeah. your goal. Your final task is to pop a balloon. Yep. Okay, so what are you gonna pop the balloon with? So I have like a small little needle in here. Some like thread. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Okay, needle and thread. So Very creative. Yeah. You would have to keep it like wound up so they could have enough force to so pick it slow. Yeah. So we, since the marble is so destructive, if it's enough force, it'll release in the toothpick. But what's it with this stuff? I don't know. Something thin. Something like easy. Something like this. Or a cork. How about a cork? Alright, Josh, so what are you doing? Uh, and like, wind it up into a turn, okay. and then I'm going to have an inclined plane with uh, paint sticks. Okay. And then it's going to go into a lever. I'm going to try and make a lever with, um, with these pieces in between the, the cup, and then put, attach a paint stick to that. And then it's going to, thank you, it's going to um, like transfer the weight and roll back down, and then it's going to turn the page of the book. Okay. Where's your book? Like what, or do you need a book? Okay. Uh, let me see if I can find a big, a big enough book. Are you working on your 
welcome to take um, a textbook if you see one. And we can also take this one. Take, so take whatever you need. All right, so you guys have all the pork. What are you going to do with all this pork? I was thinking of a couple of I just don't know how to use it. We, okay, we need to make whole pieces of I mean, but it's also going to be an income plan. Yeah, it's going to be an income plan, so it's already going to have a natural to it. Um, so how about, um, what do you want to do? Can I just, you want a, a bigger wheel? Yeah. Just so we can, like, attach it to it. So this is going to start the whole thing. Okay. So it's going to, you know, go and then push, push it down. It's going to roll down. Oh. 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 Steps. Got to have a few more steps. What? Steps or, okay. We'll add more steps. We'll add more steps. We can, another income plan. I like I like that you came up with a pencil because it will probably be more successful than that. Yeah, because I probably um, Oh, the rope? Okay. And you've got washers. You're thinking about using something with a washer? I'm trying to figure out what you can do. Okay. You can use them as weights if you can I see what have you something mean. pulling down. Um, or the weight, the more of the, I know this one probably won't be enough for us to possibly push the car down. So the aspect we were talking about, we needed more weight yes. to push it. So, so you, we can put it on one end. Yeah, that's so. what the washers are really good for being balances or weights of some sort. So I've done a couple of creative deliveries. I've taped the levers together just so it doesn't slip and get annoying. Okay. Mostly just so I can test it over and over again. Okay, so what's going to trip that? So what we're trying to do is currently is make some kind of screw around a pole. Okay. You already brought a bunch of these CDs over. So okay. what I was thinking is uh, get a bunch of these rubber things with poles, uh -huh. put them together, just cut them at the middle, and then okay. just pull them down. Like It okay. might work Like well. Kind of like what Prakash is doing with paper I mean, if it doesn't work, we can always just use an incline plane because that's what we're going to do anyway. So does this go back in here? But uh, yeah. And it's going to be going into some sort of box 
attached to a string for a pulley, pull of a pencil. Okay, okay. Pick a pencil. Up. So that's your goal is to pick Basically, a pencil. Basically, yeah. Up. yeah. Okay. My goal is to so be as lazy as possible. Somewhere over here is going to be a pencil. Yeah. That yeah. You're gonna pick up. I'm picking my pencil up to draw my well. name, yeah. like write my name, uh -huh. signature on something. Okay. I'm just okay. lazy to pick it up. So, all right. So it's going to finish and drop something down that will then lift the pencil up. Yeah, it's gotcha. probably going to be like way too much because we've got like a lot of marbles in this thing right now. All right. So it might actually end up throwing the pencil. Oh, no. All the, so at the moment, we're, the only two things we've got to figure out is how we're going to attach the pulley and the screw. The screw I think we have figured out, and then we have a good alternative. But I think on the pulley, we're just going to probably Are you doing that boxes. for the screw? Yeah. I'm thinking of like extending it a bit since it's pretty short right now. My first idea was probably get like three of these. Uh -huh. have the pulley over it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. <laughs> yeah, you might need to strengthen that a little bit. Oh yeah, that's oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, so like we could have to okay. Alright, you ready? Do I let it go first? I can't remember. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed our lesson. Look, you guys made it work. Yay! <laughs> Yay. This time. Thank you.